So I have growing up epistogrammas in this tank. Here's a couple of them right here. I'm never sure how many are in here. Um, they're in with some guppies I couldn't catch. And then some, it's either harlequin bad or um, the pork chops. Or maybe the harlequins are the pork chops. Um, it's hard for me to tell. I think these are the bigger version. I like to move them into where their bigger colony is, but I, unless I tear this tank apart, I don't want to. So I managed to kill the parents. Yeah, I'm not pretty sure I know what happened to the male. I have no idea what happened to the female. Seriously, they're the, oh, there's another one of the little ones too, sorry. Let's see if it'll focus on the little guy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. They're, there. They're a pistogramma. It looks like Vegeta, Vegeta. V as in victory, starting with that. But I know I'm saying it wrong. So there's maybe four or so in here. Hoping I have a male and a female and then I'll just breed siblings or try to. But the, the babies have been okay. I don't really know why, I actually don't know why I lost these. It's disheartening, but I'm just glad the fry survived. She was a really good mother. And then I didn't see her when I fed and she usually would come from the bottom of the tank up to the top It's a 20 high. Not my favorite footprint, I can tell you that, but um, at all. But I have one, and now I know that I don't really like the footprint, and we won't get one again. Um, and then I looked for her, and she's at the bottom looking weird, so I pulled her out and put her in some fresh water and stuff and watched her for a couple of days, but she didn't recover. She didn't look sick. There was no, nothing on the outside. I have no earthly idea what happened to her. No other fish in the tank was looking bad. So I don't know if she had some kind of internal something going on that I didn't know about. But yeah, so at least her fry survived. Like I said, they're getting bigger now and I can count one, two, three right here for sure. And so I'm happy. Hopefully I'll have at least one male and one female. I can breed them a little more because when they grow up, they're really beautiful. This kind of beautiful reddish colorations in their finage. They're a beautiful epistogramma. So yeah, that's just a quick kind of not great filming because of the reflections and they're small and it's hard to get. I don't have good lighting on this. I just have two of the little things. So most of my plants grow at the top <laughs> and this one poor sword that needs another root tab. The grass hasn't died, but it hasn't proliferated either. There's good soil underneath here. I did a deep, well, I did more soil than I needed. I essentially was, I, before I heard about deep sand beds, I was doing too much soil and not enough sand. Now I know you don't need as much soil, you need more sand on the top. But yeah, so there's a deep soil slash sand bed cap. And this is a beautiful guppy. I got him from Bob Steamfot and it wasn't long after I got mine that he pulled them because they just weren't hardy for him. And he's right, they weren't. I lost every one of them but one. But man, I'll have the one boy that's still alive. He is so pretty. The light hits him just right, and he's just this amazing shade of bluish purple. Look at that right there. I had hoped they would breed in here. They probably were, and the epistogrammas ate them. But the epistogramma, the bigger epistogrammas are no more. So I've started to see a few fry here and there that have survived. So I'm hoping maybe he will produce some progeny with one of these other guppies and maybe we'll see some of his coloration somewhere. Maybe not, but it's worth a try. But yeah, I'm really excited to see more of the Pistogramma fry coming out, which makes me really happy and hopeful that I can grow them up in this tank. They'll be used to me and my water and they will perhaps breed some more because they're just they're really pretty fish. And I love Epistos. They're one of my favorite fish. They're Mincellis. But yeah, this is the 20 high. So it goes up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And then I did immersed stuff. So I pulled the wood out of the top. I re actually really like the skate. I like the height of it. It just follows the height of the tank. And if the sword fills in, it's going to go all the way to the top. Um, 
Yeah, I just wish the grass would fill in. I don't think it gets enough light. But it's trying. Okay, folks. Appreciate you listening to me ramble about my uh, pisto babies. There's another one coming out on the bottom. So I think I probably have more than I think I have. As I watch, I can see ones with different sizes in their body size and there's some more. But they would hide in the rocks and they're, they were small enough they could get into the crevices of the rocks. So I never knew how many she had. Because she, when she started parading them, she had a sea of fry. But of course things get picked off and things don't make it. And so I'm hoping a half a dozen. That way the odds are that there'll be a male and a female in the group. And I'll be able to hopefully breed them since they were raised in my water. But yeah, that's my ramble. I'm sticking to it. I will end again and tell you guys, take care. Enjoy your fishies and please stay safe.